What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Plan. Today is the big lemon tree update. Let's check it out. All right, so going back almost an entire year ago, this is when I decided I wanted to try and prune these things. This is the big tree update and I really wanted to make these things a little shorter and stubbier. So I wanted to try pruning them even though I have never done it before. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, I deeply regret doing this. I really did over prune all of these, but I'm just gonna show you anyways. So mostly what I was doing is kind of trying to top these things just to kind of get them to start branching out a little more. Usually with most plants, when you chop the tip off, it starts to branch outwards. It usually starts like two new ones or sometimes only one, but usually you can encourage more outward growth. So in all this footage, that's kind of what I was trying to do. Now, I don't know if I really went wrong with my cutting because I know you can cut these things back and get them to grow or what I'm kind of about to more reveal like soon. But for the most part, I was just kind of pruning anything that was getting lopsided, too tall for its own good, and some of the smaller branches that were just kind of weak looking. I tried to prune them back just to encourage them to kind of thicken up and just grow outwards. I waited about 15 more days after cutting everything to kind of film an update. And here you can see what I mean about how you can encourage new growth kind of outwards. As you can see just below everywhere where I cut, some of the newer nodes are kind of producing new growths. However, overall the tree isn't really looking that good. Let's wait a little longer and check out some more updates. Another 15 days has passed, bringing us to almost a total month after pruning. Now, they aren't looking too good at this point, and I definitely think I either one, over pruned them, or two, over watered them. You can see a lot of them are dropping leaves, even though they are trying to start like new growths, they're still struggling and they seem very confused. Where I think I went wrong is when I over pruned them like I did, they could have been okay if I wasn't over watering them at the same time. Something I usually forget and I'm starting to learn more and more as time goes on is you have to water the plant that's in the pot and not the pot. I was so used to giving them quite a bit of water because the full grown trees could suck up a lot of water. But after reducing the foliage to like 50%, I should have reduced my watering to 50% because it can't uptake that much water anymore because it's kind of lost that ability. And I think they were probably in shock too, so they weren't like kind of uptaking a lot of water. So if you guys want to prune your trees, don't let it get so long where you're going to hack a lot of it off. Kind of stay on top of it and only prune a small amount. And once you prune it, remember not to overwater these things. They're not going to have as much uptake um, capacity, so you're really going to have to go a little easier on them. And I think you'll have a lot more success than me. Here we are about six months later, and I still have three of these trees alive and left. However, some have actually perished, mostly because I kind of gave up on them and because I did damage them quite a bit as you did see. These ones are starting to bounce back pretty well, but as you can see, it's taken six months for me to really bring them back from the root rot and whatever else they were kind of afflicted by. I've had these things under grow lights for about 12 hours a day every day for the past six months, and you can see that a lot of those growths that we saw almost six months ago have matured into like fully fledged branches and they are a little bushier now. So my pruning did work, however I think I was just way too aggressive and overwatered initially, which has caused like the main damage that we saw. Now at almost 9 months that have passed and pretty close to the current present time, here we have the one star tree that has really fully recovered and is doing well again. Over the course of the last 9 months I've really had a lot of like swings with this plant, from like kind of dropping leaves and dying to doing very well with new growths. But now I think I finally have it stabilized and you can even see in the tips there's tons of new growth coming, lots of fresh leaves and I think I have it on a pretty good track. This tree is almost 1.5 years old and we probably got a good 4 more years left before we can see lemons but I really hope I can keep it alive, stable and healthy all the way up until that point. This has definitely been a ton of fun growing this thing. I've learned a lot from kind of my mishaps and just kind of what I've done and tried with these plants. So I definitely recommend you guys try this. Don't let my failures kind of discourage you from trying to grow these trees. They're a lot of fun and they also smell pretty darn nice. I think my big takeaway from this is definitely try something that you're not quite comfortable with. I've never grown trees before and this was definitely a fun experiment to do. I learned a lot from doing this even with the whole pruning aspect and I came to that really big conclusion with watering where you should water the plant and not the pot because that's going to help you kind of prevent root rot and other things. It was definitely super fun and I really hope and suggest you guys try this yourself at home. It's practically free and it's just a lot of fun. Well guys, as always, may your plants grow strong and healthy. I'll see you next time.